This is the KBD Fans KBD-8X Mark III. It is a fantastic example of a custom keyboard anybody can build. Although it has some competition in the space, like from the NK87 Aluminum Edition and the Drop Sense 75, it has a superior range of colors and customization options. With 18 different case colors, three different weight materials, and four different kinds of plates, when you are trying to match a specific aesthetic, this is the kit for you. Since I've made this keyboard, they've removed the standard brass and copper weights and instead have patina patterned brass variants. The whole reason I bought this keyboard is because I bought a set of GMK Bordeaux keycaps several months back. Although the burgundy didn't have the exact coloring of the more maroon keycaps, and the copper plate was a little darker than the accent colors, it was still in a similar color palette. One thing that was kind of cool was that when viewing the keyboard at incident angles, the color of the anodization turns a little darker to match the key set. Ultimately, I chose a copper weight, carbon fiber plate, and a hot swap PCB. Because the switches and keycaps aren't included with the kit, the switches I chose were Duroc Blue Lotus T1s, which are a tactile switch and remind me of the color of grapes. The stabilizers I chose were Duroc V2 stabilizers in clear, but feel that maybe the smoky stab housings would have been better to match the carbon fiber. The good thing about these switches is that they are pre-lubed, so I don't have to take time to dismantle them. I do have to say that putting this kit together was confusing at first, but when you take a closer look you'd notice that it has multiple methods of mounting, one being purely gasket mounting or top mounting, but I actually chose to do both types of mounting, top and gasket, so that the sound was a little more muted and lower pitched. First I had to install the daughter board, the copper weight, and the foam in the bottom of the case. Then I installed the gaskets on the carbon fiber plate and did a quick test fit. After that I placed the stabilizer sticker pads that came with the Duroc stab kit and the switch foam on the PCB, looped the stabilizers and installed them on the PCB. I did also install the force brake mod on the top part of the case. After sandwiching the plate foam between the plate and PCB, I installed all the switches. If you're doing this with me, just notice that the caps lock switch did need to be mounted upside down for the non-snaggered caps lock. After top mounting the plate assembly, I attached the daughter board and screwed the bottom and top part of the cases together, being sure not to over tighten them and then put on the keycaps. This is what it sounded like. I have very much enjoyed looking at this keyboard. When it's dark, the legends are very clear with just the light from the monitor. I would have preferred if they included backlighting, but ultimately it does look better without any RGB. This keyboard has become one of my favorites just because of how curated it is. But next I'll be doing an alien themed keyboard from Novel Keys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.